Now the L you have to do backwards, so you, you draw a straight line down and then a line to the left. Make sure you do the line to the left. Go straight down, Logan, and then a line to the left. Perfect. Excellent. Yes. Okay, Ted. <laughs> you can do it lowercase or uppercase. Not easy. <laughs> Um, in 1998, uh, Tivoli had its first annual um, artist festival, festival, and my girlfriend, Laura Cicinelli, um said, Mary Beth, you should paint on the big glass window at, um, at across the street from Santa Fe at the laundromat. And I said, great. So I, I signed up for to do a live painting, and I painted on the glass, and when I ran around to the other side, I was like, oh, I'm so amazed. I did the big, huge painting, a five-foot by five-foot painting of Santa Fe. It was so fabulous. I said, I have got to figure out how to do this. So this is what, I, as soon as I touched the glass with my paintbrush, I, want, I knew that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Now, choose a different color. I Let's just, see. I chose my gray. Oh, my God. What, uh, I Phthalo cycling green. green is really great when you mix it with white. What? Phthalo cycling green is, is awesome when you mix it with white. I would use that. Now, we're going to write, I love it. So, start with I. Start at the right hand side, right I, then L. Make sure you go down and to the left. So this is backwards. You always have to be thinking backwards. I love L O V. L I L O V. I. And um, the mayor of Tivoli, Marcus Molinaro, the, the former mayor of Tivoli, he called Italy, Tivoli, Italy, and told them about how the Tivoli's I love it backwards, and they were thrilled. And I, you can order a Tivoli t-shirt from Italy online on eBay. I just, I just, I'm going to get one. I didn't know that from you. So Tivoli, I love it. Now wash your brows. Oh, you just have some. You're doing great. I know. Wow, you have, you have excellent handwriting, Felix. I do not. Yes, you do. You have perfect penmanship. I'm yet. I, I'm just That's touching it up. I think That's, it up. That's excellent. Look at that. It's perfect. That's I did. Do you want to do the Roman noodle? No. I did. I love it. Not and really. then I did. <laughs> really, really good. Roman letters. I mean, no. And look, it looks perfect, Felix. Oh. I did, I did, I love it small, and then... Okay, that's perfect. 
photography? You mm. can do it any way you want. So an artist has, has the ability and the freedom to do whatever they want. That's what makes you work. Uh, and you want to be, every artist wants to be different from the, the other artist, from any other artist. That's why I love reverse painting blue glass. It's very rare in the world. Worldwide, it's very rare. There's only three people online that does it worldwide. But I want to teach people because it's so much fun. Uh, are you one of them? Yep, I'm one of the rare ones. Okay, now we're going to do our main painting. Everyone has their own idea. I'm going to paint the flowers. Are you going to paint the flowers? I'm going to paint the flowers. Okay, and these boys are going to paint whatever their favorite thing is. I'm not painting oh, okay. Well. Now, now, to do the flowers, you have to do the detail first. So take your detail brush, switch to your detail brush, a white one. Now, now see there's little bits of green. Should we do it? Wait a second. There's little bits of green dots and then the yellow. So draw the green dots first. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw the green dots. And every <laughs> once in a while, look to the other side and see if you like the painting. Every once in a while, look to the other side and see if you're happy with your painting. Because I have to constantly flip my painting. I'm going to design and, and patent a special um, easel just for um, reverse painting on glass. So the easel, you'll attach it from the top and the bottom, and then it'll swivel around this way so that I can keep swiveling it around. <laughs> and you can just easily, on the plexiglass, you just take a, a wet paper towel and do it. But on glass, I take a, um, I'll show you, I, ha I buy the razor blades by the hundred pack. And they take the razor blade. The children are not allowed to use razor blades. They're really sharp. Mom, we're using the uh, back. Yes, yeah. yeah. And then say, I did, say, um, oh, I don't like that flower. I just scrape it off like that, see? So I use my razor blade more than I use my brush because I make mistakes all the time. I don't like the, I don't like the, uh, the way the centers came out. I'm going to erase them all. So that's, that's how easy. And there's also another technique. If I want to put lines into my, um, I can take the back of my brush and put lines, I can put lines through my um, petals to make it more realistic. Like this. You use the back of your brush like that. And that way it'll look more realistic, like it has veins, like the flower has veins. all different kinds of techniques. I'll try and teach you as many as I can. In reverse painting on glass, um, what's different from regular painting on canvas, on canvas you paint the background and you layer forward and do the details last. But reverse painting on glass is the exact opposite. You do the details first and then layer backwards. And so, say I just did these um, green dots. I have to wait for that to dry before I can put the yellow over it. Because if I put the yellow over it while it's wet, which is another technique, it'll smear it. It'll um, be smeared into it. So I'm going to do the details first. What color are the stems? I like a dark green. So I get a dark green. I can mix it with a little yellow okra. And the more you paint, the more you get to learn your colors. Um, complementary colors. What's the complementary color of red, guys? Do you guys know? No. Um, blue. No. Oh, wait, contra? The complementary, the opposite on the color wheel. What's the opposite of red? Purple. What? I thought, I thought blue was. Yellow. No, is it? No, that's it. Purple. I thought it was complimentary of um, red. I think it's blue. I think it's green. Green. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you want to paint green next to your red and they'll complement each other. That's what makes your painting um, more pleasing to the eyes. I might add some different flowers. I, I, Thank you. The way I started, this is the best way to start when you're starting out reverse painting on glass. Always start with flowers because they're really hard to to mess up. So you paint um, roses and uh, do easy paint flowers like daisies or um, um, you know quick 
bluebells or um, columbine or something. You're, oh, your favorite flower. Start with your favorite flowers in lots of different colors. And you'd be amazed at what how it turns out. One of my favorite flowers that I learned how to paint really good recently is um, peonies. They're really hard to paint, but I learned how to, how to do it. And, um, Sorry. My mother always had peonies, like 100 year old peonies. And um, Tim Bull down at Siminski Insky, he gave me some beautiful peonies from his yard, which was over 100 years old. And they're so beautiful. So I learned how to paint. I might paint a peony. I'll show you how to do it. But you have to use a real detail brush for peonies. You do a little squiggly line like this. Because um, peonies have lots of um, tons of uh, flowers. I'm still working on this whole thing. This is how I do oh, peonies. Letters, guys. Yeah. I am. No. Once I finish a letter, I look. One of those things. <laughs> Does anybody have a joke to tell? Not from now. Wait, no, there? Not knock, knock. <clears throat> no, I am not a good joke. Why did the dinosaur cross the road? Why? What road? <laughs> That's a good one, Kelly. So this is how I'm doing my peonies. At first I do the white details, and then I go a lighter pink with a, a, um, another detail brush. And then I get the lighter pink. Why did the, why did the chicken cross the road? Why? why? I don't know. Ask him. Oh, um, yeah. And then you can go over your... Say I like pink, but I want to highlight it with yellow. I go over it with yellow. And then it picks up whatever color, now in reverse painting, whatever color is in the front, you want to choose a complementary color, a, a nice color, like the, say you painted pink. You want to highlight it with a deeper pink. And then you paint red behind the pink and it, it bounces out at you. So each color affects the color before it. So it's a little, you have to constantly be thinking about what colors you're using. I'm using yellow behind the pink, so that's going to accent the pink. And painting is so relaxing. It's like, if you have a stressed out life, if you're taking care of your, your uh, grandparents or elderly with Alzheimer's, you should set up a studio. Set up an easel and just paint and it'll relax you and help you get through your life. Um, this is called the first layer of paint. Um, we have to cover the whole thing with, with paint. That's your first layer of paint. So your image is done. But then, then you put the second layers of paint on. And then you accent the colors with whatever color is before. A darker color will accent it with a lighter color. So that's your second layer of paint. And then after that dries, then you put a third layer of paint on. Just whatever, random paint just to make it, it has to be super, super thick. And um, and then we dry, I dry them, I sun bake them in the sun. I just put them out in the sun and bake them in the sun. And so it cauterizes onto the glass or the plexiglass. For about how long should you leave them in the sun? Just until it's really dry and really have them really stuck on there. Probably about an hour or two. Or you can do it all day if you want. But the sun doesn't come around, you know, you have to get a sunny day. And then if it's in the winter time, I just put it in my window, and then the sun bakes it through the window nice and hot. I, I'm going to highlight my letters. Uh, it's called shadowing. I don't know. I don't know what, how I should, like, do with this because it's, it's, I don't know if it's dry or not. So I'm, actually I should go to highlight. Yeah, it has to be dry to paint over it. I'm not going to use any white. Unless I'm mixing colors. Okay. Like I did last time. Mom, can I look at the colors? Yes. You want them? Yes. <gasps> wow. My, my back hurts because it's a bunch of stars. Years ago, uh, reverse, I'm, I'm going to give you a bit of history about reverse video glass. In the 14th century, glass was discovered in Italy. Um, and then the merchants and everything, they decided that, that when they painted on glass, it was vibrant. And, and so it started a huge, um, it was uh, Vienna and um, Florence were a huge art 
colonies, and um, so they would paint, reverse painting on glass, and um, sell it all over the world. And it was reverse painting on glass spread all over to China and and Roma. Russia and South America and everywhere around the world. I said Roma instead of and <laughs> but back then nobody ever signed their paintings. I'm the probably the first one in the world that signs their paintings on glass. And you know, and you know who else is, was famous um, for reverse painting glasses? Um, Kandinsky. He, I, I got a rare book on eBay of uh, Kandinsky's um, paintings, and he loved reverse painting. And this, the feeling I get from reverse painting glasses is exactly what he wrote about what he got. Okay, I'm sorry. For the next show, I'm going to have to do the big brushes. This is our first show, so we're not, it's not perfect. We're, not we're doing the best sad. we can. Mom and Dad. Say hi. Hi, Dad. All right. I can't say mom. Hello, I family. Can't. I'm on YouTube. <laughs> I can't say my mom because she's right there. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can say hi to me. Hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? This is great. fast, guys. The background has to be painted fast. Um, we're doing the final of uh, the final stages of our first layer of paint. So they have to move pretty quickly, guys. So we have a lot of work to do. I'm hurrying. I'm done with that. Do I do and then when you finish the first layer of paint, then you can look at the other side. And if you see places that need detail work, then you can scrape in with the back of your brush. Um, yeah. What color can I outline the purple? Purple, uh, yellow. Yellow? Yeah. I'm only doing purple because I didn't ha I have any purple. Uh, yellow and purple are complement complementary colors. Green and red are complementary colors. Oh, whatever. That was a joke. What do computers eat? Viruses. No. Memories? No. Gigabytes? No. Megabytes? No. That would probably be it for sure because it says bite. Chips. Oh, computer chips. Oh, chips. Computer chips. That's funny. You have to say computer chips. I got this all from a general joke one. Oh, there we go. Can I have some more of this yellow? Oh, what yes. does a shark eat for breakfast? What? What? Peanut butter jelly. Yeah, I mean, peanut butter jelly. Fish? What? Yeah, peanut butter jelly. Get it? Because jelly fish. Oh, jelly fish. fish. Oh, and there we go. Yeah, yeah. Jelly jelly. Yeah, and so I have, I have the most. 
Oh well, no, he explored like around yes, the owner's I, house. I have the craziest dog. He's a little miniature yes. poodle. Look at that. Oh, he you think of it. All covered in fur and he's crazy. Oh, Marcel. He does the weirdest things and he's a psychopath. We don't need to mention those weird things. Yes, they were born in Vancouver. Was he born? Where was he born, Felix? I have no idea. Was he from? A, was he rescued? I don't know. I don't think so. Well, did you buy him at a pet shop? No, he was a puppy when he got him. So. I, I didn't get him. What did he get? Where did Marcel come from? New Falls. Oh, New Falls. He's from New Falls. No wonder why he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you could tie him in New Falls for six months. <laughs> right after college. I lived there for uh, 20, 21 years. Wow. <laughs> yeah. See what both sides look like, not on the easel. Yeah. You can even come a little closer if you want. Okay. Don't drop it. Oh, yeah, I'm now this is just the first layer of paint. I have to start. I'm gonna scrape my name into it because I didn't write my name yet. But I write my name backwards. Wow. And then this is the front so far. But it's it, you can't get the gist, the real gist of it until you get the second, third layers of paint on. Then the colors pop and they come alive. Remember the most important thing about this. I'm running out purple. Is I need some more green. Okay. Always I'm think white back, Taylor. Green. I'm running out purple. What? White. white. Yeah, Taylor. I'm running out purple. You can only have one purple, Gregory. No masking. So these are just quick, fun paintings. Mom, I'm just to teach you how. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yours is amazing. I ran out of red, so I just started doing. Oh, I have more. I have more red. You can just like. I kind of like the shade. Yeah, I like it too. Yes, very good. Look how much purple I have. I keep going. I need. You need more. Give me your plate. I thought like the only color that is. Oh, I also want to mention that um, the different places out in the community where I have some painting thing right now. Um, Siminski Yinsky, 8 Friendship Street in Tivoli. It's a mansion on the river. Uh, proprietor uh, Tim Bowl has uh, a whole bunch of my paintings there. They're beautiful in the mansion. They're, they're my biggest paintings right now. And I have several paintings at uh, Zephyr. It's a little gift shop uh, across the street from the Beacon Arms in Rhinebeck. And I have three new paintings at, um, it's called Living Eden, a brand new gift shop 
across from the tea bank in Red Hook, and it's such a beautiful shop. You gotta check it out. That's I'm also a, a big shop. superhero fan. And I have um, a lot of new paintings in my studio. What's that? I am oh, also yeah. a big, Logan, big superhero fan. Yeah, me and Logan are superheroes. It's our my superhero <laughs> is the Archangel Michael. <laughs> He's my superhero. My He's going to save superhero. the world and have peace on Earth finally. My favorite superhero mm -hmm. is Mr. Hope. He's a DC character. Awesome. Mm -hmm. he, he, um, he, like, well, uh, for spray, instance, scrape into the background. Superheroes or villains that are, like, really powerful. Um, I think I'm going to take my details. They don't, like, my they don't know if they want to be a villain or not. For instance, he would take them to a to his home to give them like a place in the world to wow. tell to like yeah. help them. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And he also was like super no, strong. He's, he's so like the fifteenth best you can. Them. Wow. My favorite superhero is from DC. His name is Batman. He's my favorite. He's a great Marvel. one. He's amazing. Why is um, our son Lucas loved Batman. We have like five hundred action figures of Batman. Oh, you have that? You want some of them? Yes. I have a lot of them. Oh, my favorite Marvel character is Deadpool. That's my favorite Marvel hero is Hulk. Probably, um, Hulk. Stretch Man? Um, Hulk. No. Oh, oh the I'm Green Hulk. Lantern. That's Hulk. Oh, that's Hulk. <laughs> that's Hulk. Flash, ah! Oh. Flash is awesome. Flash, ah! Oh. Savior of the universe. He'll save every one of us. Every woman, every child. <laughs> is that the old theme song? Yeah. Yeah, he has the weirdest costume, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, he does have the weirdest He has a oh, hat. Had? Oh, I thought you said hat. No, the old Superman costumes, I think, were really weird. So now I'm signing my name, and then I have to wait for it to dry so that it doesn't smear. Dude, how do you spell Marvel? Marvel? And, and I have to get a C. Yeah. 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 Make it a red though. I know I am. No, it has to be white covered in red. No, I mean, no, no. It can be either way. Or yellow. Are you sure you got your name? And you have to sign 2013, like guys. Yellow, and then it says like. After you sign your name, put 2013 on it. No. Yes. No. I'm thinking can I have a can I more red, please? Can I have more red, please? More red? Yes. You might want to cut it for a little bit here. Okay, welcome back. Um, we're almost finished our paintings and we're running out of time today. So I want to thank you so much for joining us today. And um, I want to thank Felix and Gregory and Logan and Chelsea for, for doing it. I want you to show your painting again, Chelsea, before you, the front of it. Show it to um, Danielle. Yeah, that's amazing. That is beautiful. Nice job. Thanks, it's real, guys. Look how beautiful. And, and she's not even an artist. Are we going to keep these? You guys didn't do it. Are we going to keep these? What? Are we going to keep yes, these? Yes, these are yours to keep. Oh, and I, I also want to mention her fellow artists. I also want to mention that I bought these Bill frames really inexpensively at Michael's. Um, I also support um, Rhinebeck Artist Shop. I get my paints at Artist Drawing Bag Shop and brushes. They have great deals on brushes. And I like um, Casual Art Supply. And um, they're located in Woodstock, Kingston, and New Paltz. And, and Gipsy. The, the one that you just said before. And Drawing Bag Artist Shop just opened up a new gallery called Art Water. And At Water or Art Water? At Water. At Water. And I'm, I'm going to be showing there soon in the future, too. So, um,. Thank you all for joining us, and we, God bless you, and um, let's give a hand, guys, to these guys. They did a great job. All right.